Welcome back to the video series on Max Revision Made Meticulous Day 8 Integration of Particular Functions Revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. 5 questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Day 8 Integration of some particular function We will see integrals of the form Px plus q by square root of ax square plus bx plus c How to remember it? Linear factor in the numerator by square root of quadratic factor inside the square root Linear factor by square root of a quadratic polynomial And uh, we have seen one type where it was a linear factor by a quadratic polynomial which is uh, not inside the square root. Now it is a square root 1. Now how to do it? Put the linear factor that is in the numerator px plus q is equal to k into d by dx of the quadratic polynomial or factor inside the square root plus l. px plus q is equal to k into d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c plus l. And when you do it then we, there are two constants here k and l we will evaluate it. Then after that we will split the integral into two. Then the value of the first integral can be done directly because the numerator will contain the differentiation of the term inside the square root. Therefore it is two times the square root or two times the ax square plus bx plus c whole power one by two. It will, be, it will become minus one by two plus one by minus one by two plus one therefore two into the square root. So the first one you can do directly. And the second one can be done by the type which we have already seen 1 upon square root of ax square plus bx plus c. We will try to convert the term inside the square root as x square minus a square or a square minus x square or a square plus x square and we will apply the formula. Recollect it. Numerator is a linear factor. Denominator is a quadratic factor inside a square root. Put the linear factor px plus q is equal to k into d by dx of that ax square plus bx plus c plus l. Evaluate k and l. Split the integral into 2. First integral will be always k into 2 times the square root. The second integral can be evaluated by the type which we have already seen. Now see the problem number 1. It is x plus 2 upon root x square plus 2x plus 3. As we have already seen take x plus 2 as k into d by dx of x square plus 2x plus 3 plus l. The differentiation of x square plus 2x plus 3 is 2x plus 2 plus l. How to evaluate k and l? Collect the coefficient of x and constant on the right hand side. I have collected it. Coefficient of x is 2kx. Constant term is 2k plus l. Now start equating it. Equate the x coefficient. Left hand side 1, right hand side 2k. Therefore k is equal to 1 by 2. Now we equate the constants. Left hand side it is 2. Right hand side it is 2k plus l. Already I have obtained the value of k. Put it over here. It will become 2 into half plus 1. That is 1 plus l. Therefore l is also 1. So k is 1 by 2 and l is 1. We put x plus 2 is equal to k into 2x plus 2 plus l. And we got k as 1 by 2 and l as 1. Therefore, x plus 2 will become half into 2x plus 2 plus 1. Already we have discussed, it is always better to check the value of k and l at this stage. Because they are going to decide the answer. Therefore, half into 2x is x. Therefore, x is in the left hand side. Half into 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. That is also in the left hand side. For LHS is equal to RHS. Now, put it in the integral sign now. Half into 2x plus 2 plus 1 upon the square root. We have to split the integral into 2. Half into 2x plus 2 upon that plus dx upon the root x square plus 2x plus 3. Already we have discussed the first integral can be evaluated directly because the numerator contains the differentiation of the term inside the square root. Therefore we are having a formula dx upon root x is 2 root x plus c. Therefore it is half into 2 into the square root. That's all. Then the second one we can do it by the method which you have already seen. Root x square plus 2x plus 3 plus integral dx upon root x square plus 2x plus 3. Let us continue. The second To do the second integral, we have to write x square plus 2x as x plus 
the coefficient of x divided by 2 the whole square minus 1 put it inside the integral sign now it is x plus 1 the whole square minus 1 plus 3 clubbing the constants it will become x plus 1 the whole square plus 2 square root of x plus 1 the whole square plus 2 but here there is no need to write that uh, 2 as a root 2 the whole square we are having a formula root dx upon root a square plus x square is log x plus root a square plus x square here in place of x you are having x plus 1 and uh, we have to visualize it as x plus 1 plus the square root that's all very simple but we got the answer very quickly by writing the numerator as k into d by dx of the denominator plus l the second integral is already is integrated using a known idea already <clears throat> let us continue with the next problem now 4x plus 1 by square root of 2x square plus 2x minus 3 here there is no need to take the 2 outside in the beginning we can start the problem as it is 4x plus 1 is equal to k into d by dx of 2x square plus 2x minus 3 plus l the differentiation of 2x square plus 2x minus 3 is 4x plus 2 to evaluate the value of k and l we will collect the coefficient of x and constant on the right hand side 4kx plus 2k plus l equating the x coefficient 4 is equal to 4k therefore k is equal to 1 equating the constants 1 is equal to 2k plus l therefore 1 is equal to 2 plus l therefore l is equal to minus 1 we started with 4x plus 1 is equal to k into 4x plus 2 plus l where k 1 and minus 1 put it now it will become 4x plus 2 minus 1 now we can check the left hand side is equal to right hand side 4x 2 minus 1 is 1 therefore LHS is equal to RHS therefore k and l are correct put it inside the integral sign now split the integral into 2 first integral 4x plus 2 upon root 2x square plus 2x minus 3 second integral minus 1 upon square root of 2x square plus 2x minus 3 now already we have discussed the first integral will be 2 into the square root for 2 into 2x square plus 2x minus 3 minus now the for the second integral we have to make the coefficient of x square as 1 already we have discussed in the previous videos for 1 by root 2 into dx upon square root of x square plus x minus 3 by 2 by taking 2 outside inside the square root now we continue this x square plus x how to write it it can be written as x plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 4 put it inside the integral sign now it will become dx upon root x plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 2 now we have to club the constants so that we want to see whether it is x square minus a square or x square plus a square therefore it is dx upon root x plus 1 the whole square minus 1 by 4 plus 3 by 2 by taking a minus sign outside now the constant will become minus 7 by 4 for now you are visualizing it as the left hand the right right hand side second integral the second term integral is root x dx upon root x square minus a square formula is log of x plus the square root what is there in place of x we are having x plus 1 by 2 in place of x plus the square root now we can uh, simplify it also you can simplify this x plus 1 by 2 here 2x plus 1 upon 2 again on the right hand side also you can simplify but it is not required you can give the answer as it is 2 times root 2x square plus 2x minus 3 minus 1 by root 2 log of x plus 1 by 2 plus the square root. Let us go back to the next problem 2x plus 2 upon root x square plus x plus 1. Now this problem can be done directly also but we will do it as per our uh, the method which we have discussed. I will tell you how to do directly. Now suppose if x square plus x plus 1 what is the differentiation 2x plus 1 for numerator you can directly write it as 2x plus 1 plus 1 and you can split it into 2 integral for we want the differentiation of the term inside the square root in the numerator so that the first integral will be got, got split but anyway we will do as per uh, the method which we have discussed 2x plus 2 is k into d by dx of x square plus x plus 1 plus l therefore k into 2x plus 1 plus l write it as uh, 
x term plus constant term x coefficient is 2k constant term is k plus l equate 2 is equal to 2k k is equal to 1 equate the constant 2 is equal to k plus l therefore k l is equal to 1 now I just already told you that whenever you want to write it as 2x plus 2 can be written as 2x plus 1 plus 1 therefore the differentiation of x square plus x plus 1 is 2x plus 1 therefore numerator can be written as 2x plus 1 plus 1 directly also if you are very thorough that is if you can write it directly you can write it instead of writing it as k k into d by dx of different denominator the quadratic factor plus l then getting the value of k and l anyway you can do directly also for i am splitting the integral into two the first integral is 2 into the square root already we have discussed 2 into root x square plus x plus 1 second integral is dx upon root x square plus x plus 1 how to do the second integral the term the term that is x square plus x to be written as x plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus square of 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 put it into the integral sign x plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 4 plus 1 now what is the constant now 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 now 3 by 4 no need to write it as root 3 by 2 the whole square because we are not interested in getting the value of a in these types of problem therefore you can directly keep it as it is tx upon root a square plus x square formula is log x plus the square root in place of x we are having x plus 1 by 2 therefore x plus 1 by 2 plus the square root final answer 2 times root x square plus x plus 1 plus log of x plus 1 by 2 plus square root of x plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus 3 by 4 plus c well now let us go to a problem where the coefficient of x square is other than a positive constant it is a negative same technique take the numerator 2x minus 6 as k into d by dx of 7 minus 6x minus x square plus l remember this type can be applied only when numerator is a perfect linear factor denominator you are having a quadratic factor inside your square root well now let us uh, try to find uh, k value of k and l 2x minus 6 is k into minus 6 minus 2x that is a differentiation of the term in, <coughs> of the quadratic factor collect the coefficient now 2x minus 6 is minus 2kx that is x coefficient constant is minus 6k plus l x coefficient when you equate k will be minus 1 when you equate the constant minus 6 is equal to minus 6k plus l therefore minus 6 is equal to 6 plus l k is l sorry l is equal to minus 12 but we started with 2x minus 6 is equal to k into minus 6 minus 2x plus l k is minus 1 and l is minus 12 i am putting it like this now now let us check now minus into minus 2x therefore 2x it is there in the left hand side minus into minus 6 is plus 6 plus 6 minus 12 is minus 6 that is also in the left hand side therefore our values of k and l are correct for now let us put it inside the integral sign now minus of minus 6 minus 2x minus 12 by square root of something square root of 7 minus 6x minus x square now i am bringing the minus sign outside minus 6 minus 2x upon the square root into dx plus minus 12 by the square root now what will be happen to the first integral it is 2 times the square root that is already we have discussed therefore it will be minus 2 times the square root minus 12 into 1 upon root 7 minus 6 x minus x square let us continue how to do that 7 minus 6 x minus x square already we have discussed here minus sign cannot be taken outside but minus sign to be taken inside the square root but when you take the minus sign inside the square root it will become 7 minus x square plus 6 x how to write x square plus 6x x, x plus coefficient of x by 2 the whole square minus the constant the square put it inside the integral sign now 7 minus x plus 3 the whole square minus 9 what will happen to that minus 9 it will come out as plus 9 here you should be very careful because this constant is going to decide the formula 7 plus 9 minus of x plus 3 the whole square what is 7 plus 9 it is 16 therefore you got a stage where minus 2 time root 7 minus 6 x minus x square minus 12 upon dx upon square root of 16 minus of x plus 3 the whole square now how to write that 16 it is 4 square because we need the value of a 
therefore this what is this formula it is a square minus x square it is sin inverse x by a what is that in place of x you are having x plus 3 what is that in place of a you are having 4 therefore final answer minus 2 times root 7 minus 6x minus x square minus 12 into sin inverse x plus 3 by 4 Let us move on to the question number 5. Evaluate integral root of 4 minus x by 4 plus x. Okay. Let us try this problem by multiplying and divide by 4 minus x. So that uh, square root will go in the numerator and something will, will get it in the denominator. Let us see. Multiply and divide by 4 minus x inside the square root. The numerator will be root 4 minus x into root 4 minus x. It will be 4 minus x. The denominator will be root 4 plus x into, sorry, 4 plus x into 4 minus x. Therefore, it will be square root of 16 minus x square. Therefore, you got 4 minus x by square root of 16 minus x square. Split the integral into two. First term, 4 upon the square root minus half x upon the square root. Now, you got uh, two integral now. The first integral uh, direct formula a square minus x square. But in the second integral, you are seeing that the differentiation of 16 minus x square, that is the differentiation of the term inside the square root, it is minus 2x. Therefore, to adjust it, divide and multiply by 2. Therefore, we are making the numerator as the differentiation of the term inside the square root. For we got now 4 upon 4 into 1 upon root 16 is 4 square minus x square. The second term is half into minus 2x upon root 16 minus x square. Here we have to apply two formulae. Formula number 1, it is integral dx upon root a square minus x square. It is sin inverse x by a. For the second one, we are see, visualizing it as numerator contained the differentiation of the term inside the square root. For first term is 4 into sin inverse of in place of a you are having 4 therefore sin inverse x by 4 second one is half into 2 times the square root for 2 into root 16 minus x square plus c for final answer is 4 into sin inverse x by 4 plus root 16 minus x square plus c here this problem we are uh, doing it by simplifying the term which is given inside the square root but if you can be you are actually the second term the integral is nothing but a linear factor by a quadratic factor inside the square root but uh, it is not having any constant and we are directly applying the formula that numerator is the differentiation of the term inside the square root success is dependent on efforts all the best thank you